Hey guys, thanks for tuning on in to today's video. I have kind of an exciting, slightly random one, but one of my lovely subscribers um, asked me to make a video, so I was like, sure, I'll do it, and I can't sleep, so I'll doubly do it. All right, anywho, so I, over the weekend, I was in Macy's, and I got bored, and I went over to the Mac counter, and I saw that the Nicki Minaj collaboration was out. I've been following along with the launch date, but I didn't think that my local shop was gonna get it, so, and we are getting, like, a proper Mac store, and I was like, oh, it'll probably just, whenever that happens, we'll probably start getting collabs in the store. We don't always get everything at the counter, so when I walked by, I was going in Macy's to buy jeans, and I was like, oh, I need lipstick to go with jeans. That makes sense. So I walked over to the mat counter, struck up a really nice conversation with uh, one of the ladies that was on shift. We were just talking and she was telling me um, about the collection. I got to see it up close. I got to see the big cutout of Nikki like crouched on the floor. It was great. But the more, long story short, the more I looked at the collection, I was like, wow, this is actually really subtle yet really thoughtful when you look at the variety of shades. And then when you start to swatch and see which ones actually look good on your skin tone and which ones don't, it's really interesting. So I had a really good time swatching a few being like, wow, some of these look great and wow, some of these don't because they all look really similar. I get it. I was really skeptical of the collection when it first came out. I was like, now she done gone and just curated 30 shades that look the same. Why she got us out here wasting our time like this? But when you actually get up close and you look at it, you're like, actually, okay, wait, no, they're subtly different and it's great. I love it. I think it's an awesome collection. Um, I'm not a huge Nikki fan. I'm not the biggest fan of MAC. That doesn't mean I dislike either. I just wasn't going to run out and go buy like the next MAC collaboration. I wasn't going to go out and buy something that Nikki put her name on. Because of that, I feel like my opinion is somewhat unbiased. So for this video, I bought two lipsticks and a lip glass. And what I'm going to do for this swatch fest is show you each of the products on their own show you the lipsticks with a lip liner and then show you them with the lip gloss over top so i'll also do swatches too i'll organize it it'll make sense let's just jump on in so first off is the lip gloss this is spite this is kind of a almost pinky whitish brownish purple this is what it looks like on its own. They have reformulated these recently and I think they've added more more or shea butter to them. So they aren't as like thick and chunky on the lips and they're much more hydrating. But if you're in the market for something that's more of a pinky brownie nude, definitely check out this collection. Definitely go to either your store or your counter and swatch it though. You will be surprised what actually looks good on you because in the jar this looks I like to say casket ready. That's very harsh, but on me it's actually really pretty. So this is the first one. I've also got some micellar water and some cotton pads. So trying to be super official about my swatches for you guys. That's actually what the color looks like. So it doesn't, it looks similar, but it's definitely got more pigmentation on the lips than you might expect. All right, for convenience sake, I'm going to swatch with the MAC Chestnut Lip Liner because this is pretty universal for deeper skin tones, which I am. So I would say if you are of a different complexion and you're watching my video, hey, thanks for watching. Um, maybe consider just pairing this with the appropriate kind of brown or pink. I don't want to go too harsh, but I'm just going to line my lips. This is what the lip gloss looks like with a bit of a liner to it. So, really pretty, like surprisingly pretty. <laughs> and there are two lip glasses, so if this one isn't your jam, take a look at the collection. You might like the other one a little bit better, but. I don't think you need to line your lips, but this does look really nice with it on. So next we're gonna go in with mmm. Mm. Alright, it's called mmm with like eight M's, but this is the pinky nude out of the two that I picked. So that's what it looks like. That's how she swatches. Very pretty. Oh, I will quickly swatch this lip gloss for you guys. I was filming another video this morning. I think I've still got some swatches on my hand. So that's this is the lip gloss. I don't know if you guys can see that. 
So that's what the color kind of built up and then you can see when it's just a lighter layer, it's really, really light on the lips. But I will swatch this. And these are fragranced, so if you don't like fragrances, you might not like this. But on its own, it's like, okay. <laughs> it's like a little bubblegum pinky, like a little, a little on the top lip. My thing with lipsticks is that they usually look great on my bottom lip, but kind of like, eh, on the top. So here's what we look like, no lip liner on my lips. Again. See? How pretty is this? I'm like freaking out. I love this collection. Like, younger me, 2016 me would have been like, Shh, nudes, what, get out of here. Like, let's put purple on our lips. And there's nothing wrong with purple. But like, just for everyday lipstick wear, oh, this is such a bomb collection. Such a good collection. So yes, a little bit of lip liner. Definitely, when you're using a lip liner, of course, you're not gonna put on as much lipstick as you would otherwise. So, helps to tone it down, helps to kind of even out the difference in coloration. For my lips, they are very different colors. So, that's something I have to deal with personally, but I look good. Okay, next one. Next one is Among the Fireflies. This is my brown pick. Swatch that for you guys. It's like very subtle, but it's very pretty on. And these weren't the only colors that I swatched in the store either. This is like a Your Lips But Better for me, which I love. I've had a really hard time finding something that complements both of my lip shades, and this is it for me. So this is what I look like, no lip liner very very subtle I have to give Nikki hair props on this I just uh, I want to go and pick up more shades I didn't swatch the whole collection but I might have to run back and get some more so putting Mac chestnut on my lips are definitely getting sick of this already kapow So that's what I look like with the lip liner on. Next, I'm going to add the lip gloss on top. Just so you guys can see. I usually never like wear all three at once, but these are really pretty color combinations. Like in the morning, I'm usually drinking something on the train, which is why I don't bother with lipstick, but I am getting ready to go through the process of whitening my teeth, and I'm like trying to wean myself off of caffeine, and that's all I ever drink on the train. So, because I'm going through that process, I can now start wearing lipstick again. So I'm trying to look forward to that and not the lack of caffeine running through my veins at any given amount of time. But here's what I look like. So again, really pretty, just super everyday, nice, light, feminine, conservative, work appropriate, all those buzzwords, throw that in there. Looks great. And then next we're gonna throw on the lip gloss on top. This color is so versatile and you wouldn't think of it looking that way inside the packaging uh, it's quite lovely on the lips quite lovely on my lips I actually don't know how pretty this would be on other skin tones but I like it <laughs> I will if I can find good reviews and swatches from other skin tones I will link them down below or put them in the cards so they're running across the top just because I can only really show you guys what this looks like on me and that is definitely not my full eye. I put my first lip lip gloss lipstick liner combo back on to finish out my video but if there are videos that you guys would like to see do not hesitate to either comment down below or hit me up on Instagram I love making videos and I love your input so if there's anything at all that you ever want to see just comment down below um, if it's something I already have in my collection that's really easy if it's something that I might have to go out and purchase just give me a little bit of time work with me on it um, but yeah like I said your input is very appreciated on my channel let me know down below how you guys feel about this collection if there are any shades that you have picked up ones that you went and swatched and you're like okay girl you need to go try this one or like girl don't even look at this one it's horrible it's not gonna look good on you I would love to know all of your thoughts down below thank you to my wonderful subscriber who wanted to see swatches 
thank you I really appreciate it. that was really nice of you to want to take the time to look at my posts and then to say hey I want to see it on your lips try it out so here's everything I do think that this is a great great collaboration it's just a great curation of nice nude lipsticks and those never go out of style so I am really excited to wear lipsticks more often especially with these they're very nice on the lips they all have a fragrance so if that's something that kind of bothers you just be weary of that but I think from a pigmentation standpoint you really will enjoy them but if you're not a fragrance person you're not gonna like how these taste because I can feel it in my mouth so all right you guys all right <laughs> all right you guys thank you for tuning on in don't forget to give this a big thumbs up subscribe if you haven't done so already still hovering around 70 80 percent of folks that watch my videos are not subscribed it's all good but if I pop up in your searches if you've seen a few of my videos if you've liked a few of my videos please consider subscribing it does help me out quite a bit I'm really close to 100 videos so stay tuned for that this is probably video 98 maybe so I'm really 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 close I have a special video coming up for that and as always the continued support is appreciated so all right guys until next time take care and have a great rest of the day bye